I think he'll do a great job with it. I think uh, his passion uh, each and every week, let alone in the Ryder Cup, speaks for itself. I mean, he's very passionate about the game of golf. Uh, I was a teammate of his at Medina on that Ryder Cup team. I was an assistant captain when we um, went over. I forget where we were. Tom Watson was the caddy. Um, Glenn Eagles? No. Is that it? Um, he was there. Um, so I've been around him. Um, I think the, the word, the best thing I could say to, to him is just to be, and I said it to yes, just yesterday too, I think it was the Al, that he just stay true to himself, you know, believe in uh, what he's doing. He's going to get a lot of chatter uh, in his ears from a lot of different people. Um, and I think, you know, to s stay true to himself and his beliefs and what he thinks is right. He knows the players. He's out there uh, every day. He knows uh, what's going on. He's going to communicate with them. And just to be uh, true to himself and, and, and in his beliefs. And I think he's going to do a great job if he does that. It's, gonna, it's time consuming. Um, one good thing, it's been, you know, put off until July before he knew he was a captain. So he got half of the year to uh to not worry about it now he's got you know 14 months is all to get going and um so it'll be condensed for him uh there's a lot of work i think the biggest part is that it's uh the mental capacity that you need to have for it and you know there's always something you want to make sure it's uh, a wonderful week for the players the wives the uh, girlfriends, whoever's going to be there, uh, you want to make sure it's a wonderful week for them. And so it takes and consumes a lot of your time mentally. And, and uh, that's the part he needs to prepare for, too.